Hi, my name is Lincoln, and today is lesson 164. And in science today, I study protagonist and antagonist. A protagonist is usually the side character. Well, no, it's usually the main character that tries to stop the antagonist, which is usually the villain but can also be the main character. Depends on the story plot. And the antagonist, as I said, was the villain and antagonizes the protagonist to the point where the protagonist in the story usually stops the antagonist. That's how all stories usually go. But it really depends on what you want to portray in your, in your story or your film. So, yeah. And in history today, I studied the VHS and VCR. The VCR is a video cassette recorder. And the video cassette recorder, um, as the name suggests, it records cassettes that have tape wounded inside. And the cassettes are called VHSs. And uh, it was invented by JVC, a Japanese company, in 1977 in Japan. And yeah, it records the information from the tape onto a film. And then that displays on the TV where sometimes it gets a little glitchy. And over time, as you keep watching it over and over and over, it will... It will get damaged. The film will get damaged and it gets worse as you watch it over time. In English today, I studied um, the last two punct the last two correction marks that we're doing today. And SP, whenever you're uh, proofreading, means spell out. So if you have like two, if you have the letter two in your uh, sentence, sometimes people if they're proofreading it, they will write SP under it to s tell you to spell it out to TWO, which also says two. And the next was the clo close out. Oh, wait, no. Yes, it was the close out. So the close out is kind of like this it's like two brackets, but like this. And it's if you have dog, for, well, for example, dog, house, two separate words, but if you combine them, it'd actually be what you mean. That's the correct um, punctuation and spelling. And in math today, I started finding the missing dimension in a square measure. And for example, it's kind of, it's a little bit hard to explain, but in this example, it'll make a lot more sense. So, if you, if you are, if you can't find the breadth or the length, you can simply divide it by the area, and you'll get your answer. It's no matter what. So, the area is 12, the length is 4, 4, and the entire square is 12. And you can't find what the breadth is, but you did find the length, but you cannot find the breadth. So, simply, you just divide this length by how much squares are in this um, square, and you will get your answer. And that would be 3 in this example. So, length 4, breadth 3. And, yep, that was it for today. And I'll see you tomorrow for lesson 165 and 166.